Hey there, and welcome to this tech review. Today I'm going to be talking about a product by a company called Miros, and that product is Miros Kali MGS Series 200 with Apple HomeKit support. So full disclosure, this was sent to me as a review and testing unit. It's an early beta and it's going to be released to the public in December. So how did I come across this product? As I've been slowly upgrading my home to be a smart automated home, I've been purchasing things like smart plugs and I came across this company called Miros and I bought some of their plugs and I've been using them around my house with my kitchen lights. I put some with the Christmas tree and other lamps here and there. And to be honest, they work great. They're awesome. And I love that they worked with Apple HomeKit. So I reached out to them and I said, I noticed you guys have a garage door opener. When is this coming to Canada? And they informed me that a new model is being developed and it's gonna be released in December. So they asked me if I want a review copy and I said, sure, please send it my way. And um, so I've been spending the last three weeks testing it out and I'm gonna provide you guys my feedback. Here it is. So you may have noticed that the branding on the box says works with Amazon Alexa, works with Google Assistant and the Apple HomeKit logo is missing, but I can assure you that this connects and works perfectly with Apple HomeKit. That's how I tested the product and I'm assuming it works just as easily with Amazon and Google. So this is the Kali unit itself. As you can see, it's very modern, very sleek. It comes with this antenna on the back that provides a great long range connection to your Wi-Fi network. Mine's been connected for a solid three weeks, constantly holding a 70 to 90% connection rate. It's gone down zero times. So these are your cables for charging. You have a micro USB to A and a little charging brick. And these are your cables for attaching to the Kali unit. And one end goes to the garage door, which is a sensor. And the other end, these two cables would plug into your ports where your garage door opener plugs into. There's a bag with some accessories, some zip ties and some 3M tape, uh, the sensor magnetic sensor and some and some screws and lastly a little trip wire which you can use to test your garage door ports and determine where your wires need to be plugged into. Also included in the box is a handy instruction manual that covers everything that's in the box as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how to set Kali up. Being honest I did not use the manual much at all I actually followed the instructions on the Miros app, which you can download from the App Store or the Google Play Store. So here's a quick recap of everything that's in the box and you can expect to find. No surprises, everything's pretty straightforward. I'm going to walk you through my process for setting up the unit. I actually set mine up on the desk first before I mounted it on the garage door opener. This is the back of the unit and you can see there's three ports for three different garage doors and the power button and a reset button. They did send me an extra sensor kit, but I only have one garage door, so I wasn't able to use it. Here's the bottom of the unit and there's the Apple HomeKit sticker with activation code. So I have the power cord plugged in, but it's not currently plugged into the wall. Again, this is the sensor kit. This end goes into the back of the unit, into the port. So I'm gonna stick it in port one and then this end goes into the actual garage door opener um, attached to the ceiling of your garage. Okay, the unit is now plugged in. You can see that light blinking, that green light, meaning it's on standby, ready to set up. So I am going to jump into the app and give you a quick walkthrough of how to set it up. So first you're gonna to wanna to get the Miros app, download it from the App Store or Google Play Store. We're gonna hit the plus button and navigate to the product we want to add. So I'm looking for a garage door. Uh, you can choose the amount of doors you have. I have one, so I'm going to go with one and make sure everything's connected into port one. Now there's a step here for a compatibility check. They claim it's compatible with over 1600 garage door openers. Depending on your model of garage door opener, you may get a message saying you need an additional accessory. I'll talk more about that in a bit. Finally, you'll be prompted to connect to the device. So you'll want to make your way to your Wi-Fi settings and look for the device that appears that starts with Miros. You want to make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. Once connected to the device, you'll be prompted by a HomeKit message to add the device. So there you go, I just scanned the code on the bottom of the device. It knew I was adding a garage door, 
Now it's just processing and setting up on my, my HomeKit network. Now I'm going to choose the room I want to put it to, so I'm going to set it to Garage. I could name the device something specific. You could name each garage door port something independently, so garage door 1, other garage door, or not used. You get prompted with some automation uh, suggestions right off the bat, so I'm going to turn these on. And that's it, it's all set up. Before I start climbing the ladder and mounting the unit, I thought I would test the sensor just to make sure everything's working. So as you can see, as I take the sensor away, it shows the garage door is open. When I put it back, it shows the garage door is closed. Another test you'll want to perform is climbing up to your garage door opener and using that test wire, that trip wire, um, with the ports on your on your garage door. So um, if done correctly, if you use the trip wire and you attach it to the two, you'll know exactly uh, where to plug them in because that should trigger your garage door to open. So here's the unit attached. I used those zip ties and some of that 3M tape to get it to stick in place. It's plugged into the ceiling. You want to take this end of the sensor cord and plug these two wires into the two ports that you tripped earlier with the test wire. This just shows my setup with the sensors. I put them along the side. So one is screwed into the door and one is screwed into the side of the frame. And then I bought some of these white clips, very inexpensive clips, uh, just to hold the, uh, the sensor wires in place. I didn't want to staple them to anything. Some garage door openers may need this additional accessory, which Miros will send to you. If your garage door opener has a yellow or purple learn button, there's a good chance you'll need this. Here's the accessory pairing with my garage door opener. Instead of plugging those two sensor wires into the ports, you want to plug them into this device. And that's it. Super simple. Once all set up, you want to do a quick test and make sure everything's working properly. Hey Siri, close main garage door. Closing the main garage door. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, my setup, and my review of this product. So, my final thoughts, this is an awesome garage door opener. I can't recommend it enough. I've had it running now for three weeks and I've had zero problems. It has great security features, a new long range antenna, works with Apple HomeKit, Amazon, Google, and it supports up to three garage doors if you have three in your house. So this is an awesome product, you should check it out. Hey Siri, open the garage door one. Opening the garage door one.